It's funny how competition can make bonds stronger. Growing up, I was meek. I was hid under the canal and no one really noticed me. No matter how many frokies would jump over me. And as I got older, I started to get out more. I got more social, got to my little cliques and made some friends. But now, I'm basically a walking fiesta. I got the fake outs, I got the surfs. No one can really not notice me. Especially as I'm very open. But people still test me. And those people are my friends, my bros. And today I'm not talking about an action raccoon, surprisingly. Today I'm talking about basically a bleeding Nova. A dick. He burrowed onto my skin and and he ain't going anywhere. He's getting stronger and stronger any day in art and everything. So I really gotta, gotta get on my shit and just catch up or I'll be left behind. Well, anyways, we're gonna start this, and as you can tell, I got the fru fro, and this is mean, and he's not mine, and he's not even a bro poke. Okay, I lied. He's actually a really bro Pokemon, if you have plus one with him. And now it turned into a Reggie Ice. I am confused beyond belief. But the point is of this episode is this is not a regular Pokemon showdown. This is actually Pokemon Bro Down, and I hope you guys actually enjoy this because this guy right here, this is. Lord Bottomsworth, and he is a really close friend of mine, he is like a real broski, and we do a lot of art together, we do a lot of things, and he's just all around better than me, so I really gotta get my work there, and as you can see, immune bitches to dragon, cause Earthquake can't do anything, so, this is a long, long episode, compared to my usual Pokemon, uh, showdown episodes, and and we do. I did six matches with him. Uh, we I uh, we had to see which ones worked the best and all that. I we had a lot, and so this might be like 28 minutes. And we got some music in the background, as you can tell. So Rotom and Rotom mode is here, and I did the trick thing. So that's a like uh, we swapped items. Then he did pain split, which is a bro ass move to do. I'm just gonna say that that is. Bro as hell, bros share the pain. And Zygarde comes in just to just be Zygarde. Then bro, bro, bro Tom comes out again. And Willow Wisps. I, I, I mean, I Willow Wisp. And Rodon Mo is. I, I think he's gonna do. Um, pain. Yeah, yeah. Bro, bro, bro split again. Um. Uh, so, Flareon, the fire type, he's uh, this guy I'm going to protect, but it fails, and this Rampardos comes out, and I'm like, super power, come on, it's a and, uh, le oh, shit, and, you know what, I'm not even going to let you guys see, uh, Flareon die right here from, uh, rocks, uh, okay, yeah, you stop, but, uh, uh Rampardos dies too, and that's a bro-ish thing to do as well, I swear, this match is straight up brotastic. And I don't even have a slow bro. And Fru Fro comes in, he goes to the pain split, but guess what? I got that U turn, I get out of there, and I go to my main beast, that main heavy artillery. Cricketoon. And he's about to play a beat that the song of death was his little, you know, freaking. Uh, cr cricket legs. And so I did taunt. And he's got the choice scarf now, so he's struck with struggle because pain, pain split is not a physical hitting move. And so I got up my sticky webs, he would struggle and hurt himself. Reggie Ice comes in, which I don't have the player on now, and I'm scared as freaking hell. I'm just gonna die. Oh, by the way, this is like a video that I'm recording afterwards, so this already happened, and I afterwards, so this isn't real time. Um, so, so Rodon got Ice Beam, and so here's, here's a, a good beast as well, Lady, and I do that Reflect, and Ice Beam is not good for Lady, and so I'm like, oh, freak this, I'm gonna go straight up knock off, and I got, get them lefties off of them, and that's, uh, that's good, I guess. So Magnet Zone comes in, he's about to do that, do that Magnet Pull, I think, so Reggie, I should be trapped there. Focus Blast misses me 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 Megazone, and I do a Charge Beam right there, and uh, Megazone just does not d d dodge that one, and his plush doll. He needs that to sleep, so if you want him to faint, you better let him put up his sub, and I guess you won't, Reggie Ice, which is nice. That's nice. 
Now, here's fr uh, 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 fr fru fuck, which I know Lord Bombsworth right here, Bleeding Nova, also known as. He doesn't like uh, fru fro, fur fr fro. So that that's cool. That's cool. I'll return the favor of being a little little uh, problem by doing that. He has no like health for his subs, and if he really wants a sub, here's a sandwich. A poodle sandwich with the returns, and now my reflex is gone. Thanks, lady, and you did a lot. You did a lot by doing nothing at all and just being a ladybug. Thank you. I got that return off. Oh, bro, oh, you got the five. He's five. He's gonna die. As you can see, he's got the sleep talk, and he rests, and he rests. He rests never... No, actually, no. He did not die that turn. So Zygarde comes out. I return. And he gets his lefties. And I U-turn out of there because everybody knows Cricketune fights Zygarde. He's the trump card. He's like scissors is to paper. And with that, here's a fairy-powered toxic. This is gonna kill him. I swear. There goes the outrage. Did that, the speed is lowered, he has the toxic, he's confused now, and then, here's the beastly beast of Furfro, who hits him with a return, drops his health, he hits himself, oh wait, never mind. he hits me without rage, he loses health, and then comes the lovely return, and there you go, I win the battle. Let's ignore the next things that happen in these uh, in this turn. We ignore whatever happens here, cause see, he missed. It's nothing at all. <sighs> Furfro is a great Pokemon, guys, and I like to say that I claim that win. I won that battle exponentially. I did a clear zero to four win. The zero being mine. I don't need no Pokemon to win a match. But the next match right here, this one is a fantastic one. This is the one where we actually built the team. This is his team that he's been trying to make on Pokemon X and Y. So people out there, if you guys know anything about uh, some cool stuff he can add on there, just let us know and I'll uh, I'll give you some links to all this stuff there. So Tentacruel, he's got uh, throwing the Toxics and Manetrix set up a light screen. I didn't even ex expect that. I think this is the first time I fought him with this team, uh, his new team, and I used one of my old teams. So I went my Kukadal, did good old crunch, and I don't think he has, no, he di didn't have a Manetric in this. I, I gave him the opinion of get. Uh, I mean, the, um, an idea of getting a Manetric. <clears throat> so he goes to his Marowak, and he does Body Slam. Pretty good, I got my Earthquakes. He's, you're toxic, you're dead. You're dead in this turn or the next turn, you're dead anyway. This Fortress can take them Earthquakes. I can save my, um, uh, Crocodile. Which, Crocodile is one of the best Pokemons in Generation 5, I'm just gonna say that. And, as you can say, see, this is my UU team. Um... Hitmonchan, this is a powerhouse. I mean, honestly, this thing wrecks house. He marks teams. Absol comes out, and I thought it would be faster. Nope. I'm bad at that, apparently. So, from there, I do try to get up with my Galantula, and I, I got the sticky webs up. He hits me with fire punch. Surprisingly, didn't put me to my sash. But, then I proceed, did him with a good old thunder, crit, crit didn't matter I think, my Galvanchal was pretty strong with that. Kecleon, wait no, it did matter cause Hitmochan is uh, especially defensive, a bit, isn't it? Whatever, uh, Kukadal gets hit with a fake out, which that doesn't matter, Kukadal speeds him anyway, not really. And he gets hit with a blizzard, dead. Kecleon hit with a blizzard. Damn it. So, here's my Chandelure. He can take it. Second punch. Does massive damage. Massive damage. Hex. I thought he was going to do Shadow Sneak. So, I jumped out of there. Knew he was going to do a Shadow Sneak. So, I went to, into who? My good old Galvantula, knowing that he couldn't take the hit. And I think I was expecting a Sucker Punch at that one. Yeah. Because I, it's not like me to let my Galvantula die. So, Tentacruel comes in. He hits me with Sucker Punch. I get to survive that. And hit him with a sl 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 sledge wave, and, um... Ugh. 
I get my black sludge back. Jellicent comes in, a big ball of, like, Mr. Pringle head. And hit him with Sludge Wave. And Sludge Wave is get... get no, Shadow Ball kills him. Uh, sh shadow slaps. Yep. Tentacruel's dead. So it's all Chandelure. It's it's all on my good old Chandelure. Hex, Hex the Mollus is Jellicent. And Jellicent is basically just a scent in the air. He's like... <laughs> what well, smells like watery jellyfish. Dazzling Gleam, please. Flamethrower, Whimsicott. What? Oh my god. Oh, okay. That was a butt clench moment. I thought I lost that. Whew. That was... That, that, okay, I love that battle no matter what. That was fantastic. Now, for the rest of this, I don't want to just keep going on, um... Like, narrating these is fine, but if these episodes are going to be really long, I would like to have your guys' opinions on what I should really be talking about. Because right now I'm thinking, what I was thinking right now, and uh, I just repeated myself, kind of pointless, but um, for these Pokemon Throwdowns, I should really have that person that I'm battling or doing a thing with, with me, like narrating and watching it with me, and you guys would just get a whole feel of the broskies, because what I think about, when I think of this, I think of, um, do, do you know what the anagram, not the anagram, but do you know what the, um, bro stands for, B-R-O, bonds, uh, wait, I don't know. Bonds are omnipotent. They are most powerful. So anyways, that's that's just what I think. I think I should get them here. And what I think about when I think bros, I think the ending of Naruto. That's what really kind of inspired this one at the moment too. Because Naruto's ending was just fantastic. You guys should just go and see that if you're a fan of Naruto. But you should see this fight right now. Um, This is actually pretty good. Kecleon's whoops slow broski right there. And you're going to see Kecleon. I think it's this is the one Kekion puts in work. And I I think I was uh, we were talking about naming this guy Cock Blockion. I forgot what he ended up going with. Cock Cock uh, Cockleon. Um something like that. And uh I said uh, he's got the thunder wave and all that. No, I, uh this might not be the match cuz I think my tough pop takes care of it. Oh no. No, it might be still. So cuz Whimsy Cock comes in um, substitutes, and Tough Puff actually does not, that does not help there, and it just, Whimsicott gets her, uh, gets some health back, and there's another substitute, of course, got the rain dance, and you guys know what's about to come, you know what's gonna happen, I got that, I faded, uh, the substitute, does the giga drain and kills me, should've really tried to get with another substitute, I think, cause he's about to get hit by the I'm a porn star train, he puts up that sub, but I'm a porn star doesn't care, he's gonna jog to that tune, rip that plushie off of him, beat the thing with, oh god, sunsport me, he's still faster. What was that? I'm f what? I don't remember being faster. Oh, all right. He had prankster in that one. He ended up changing prankster later on with something else. But uh, discharge puts my Amistar on a sash and par it's paralyzed the it it's, it's Vault switch. Amistar didn't stand a chance. He didn't. He kind of did. He has his power. <laughs> So, Cockleon comes out, and I got my Dingle Dang right here. I do that knockoff, takes off his Razor Fang, and he hits him up with Blizzard, but he misses. And I just do the Giga Drain with the big root. You know how my Dingle Dang works. And that last off is Manetric, which you guys know he's going to do a flamethrower. And that just takes down. It's like Dingle Dang just drops into like a big green spaghetti pile. He puts up the light screen, which was pretty good. Pre pretty good on his part. Because he does his discharge, paralyzes it. Chandler takes it, though, like his name suggests. 
and he kills uh, the Manetric afterwards. Marowak comes out, he is quick clawed, and I'm paralyzed, and he gets that earthquake. Either way, Chandelure would have died from that. Uh, this next battle, I was using my, uh, other main team that I used for one of my episodes. I have the great, uh, new King Dio, you finally get to see, get killed by a close combat. I forgot to give him protein. Yet turret. Stupid ability. Stupid ability. So, Barb comes out. Of course, Barb's gonna go off with that moon blast on a fairy type. Not really. It was on the fighting type beforehand, I think. And it missed the spore. So, Whimsicott gets the spore this time. And I got that moon blast. No, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, guys. Yeah, don't be afraid to give me suggestions on what type of Pokemon to use. Or give me ideas to tell Lord Bottomsworth here. And, uh, they got the moon blast on the jealous and not Mr. Pringles anymore. Kind of disappointed. It's like Nipplehead or something like that. Or Big Clip Monster, I don't know. And so the next thing comes up is this, is, is this, this my friends, this my amigos. Ancient King Shane coming in, it's like, it's just done, it's just, adios. It's, it's gone, oh god, okay, you know what, Ancient King Shane's just a big huevon, and nothing, oh, Real Reed, this is when things get real, as his name suggests, so Real Reed comes in, and just keeps, uh, they just get going to do a high jump kick, but knock off, because I knew what the shit was like, ha, yeah, but, uh, Real Reed has a cool story for me, my friend Brandon, uh, um, he has a friend, his, his, his name is, well, last name is Reed, and they, uh, <laughs> they've, uh, <laughs> they play Pokemon on, uh, Pokemon X and Y, and he, uh, my friend Brandon kept getting his ass kicked by, uh, high jump kicks from, uh, Main Xiao, so, um, now I have one named after that guy, and I just keep fighting my friend Brandon with it, and... He just died. So this Justin, uh, Justin came in and he quick attacked the Manetric. He took a flamethrower, beastly like, and quick attack yeah, finishes him off right afterwards. And that just leaves one beast, the one Hitmonchan, to take a quick attack like a beast and kill my this Justin. He doesn't have bullet punch. I'm just gonna say he does not have bullet punch. And if I didn't have that Moxie boost. Uh, El Stereotypo DR is me, and the reason I'm uh, slower is because I have Iron Ball and I use Fling and threw an Iron Ball at the guy. I thought I was gonna die there. So, now he has this uh, new team right here, and I used up this new team as well. And this was a big fail on my part because I wanted a Rain Dance team so my Chandelure can just pwn with Solar Beams. But, uh, there's a problem. Uh, I mean a sunny day team. I wanted a sunny day team. I made this a rain dance team, so Chandelure wouldn't get any boost with it. He wouldn't get a solar beam boost. He would actually get weaker fire attacks. It was stupid of me. So Chomper is just jumping away, destroying this Politoed. And uh, he, but he has that thing on him, so he does Dragon Rush. He gets the Toxic on him, and he has Leech Seed, and he's giving Politoed a lot of that juicy health. And then Garchomp, uh, uh, Politoed doesn't protect, cause he's a little uh, stalling ass little bitch I am. And he, he's got that swirly belly going like that, and the Chomper going down. Oh, by the way, did you know that there's frogs out there with a swirl on its stomach? Or, um, on, uh, um, I mean, tadpoles? And that's actually their guts? That's what, uh, Politoed and, uh, Poliwag are all based off of a Poliworld. That's actually their, uh, organs in the front of them. Uh, Shuriken comes out, and Chestnut is like, I ain't having this, and I guess I'll be having this Thunder Wave. And Shadow Claw does not do anything to Shuriken. I die with surprise. Ice Beam is gonna decimate Chestnut, because he got paralyzed too. And Chestnut, he's down for the count. He's done. He's dead. He's done. Out. Polito comes in. He Thunder Wave's Polito. Pretty good idea. Pretty good idea. Um. 
Bobby Toad's pretty, pretty trolly on my team, I'm just gonna say. And he encores, and I encored him into that shield. So I know he's gonna jump into someone else, and I, too, will switch out to somebody else. Someone more stronger. Chandelure, who is OP as fuck under the rain. No broken. Yeah, I lied. I was going into Moltres so I could hit up with that. Oh, shit. I was gonna hit up with the Hurricanes and does nothing as shit. So, he had the Ma Mega Hound Doom, also known as Reaper. And he struck me with that, and he's dropped. Quagsire Qu Qu comes in now. And he does the earthquake, kills Reaper. That's right, Quagsire, an oblivious Quagsire, is, um. Wait, was it oblivious or, uh. Uh. uh I, I forget which Quagsire this is. I, I forget the type name. I thought it was Oblivious. But, uh, uh Mammaries just drop kicks him. Ah, that's lovely Mammaries right there. I don't get the name, honestly. Acrobatics got the crit. Acrobatics is telling me this guy does not... This, um, Halucha? Halucha is not carrying a, uh, item. And I just noticed, uh... Wait, does Halucha get guts? Yeah, he gets guts, and that's why it's a facading one. He just doesn't have a toxic orb on him. He made me toxic him. And Chandler just drops him because, you know, he's under the rain. He's faster, he's stronger, he has better defense and all that. Cacturn comes in, eats up that hydro poop, and does nothing about it. He was going to do a freaking sucker punch, but no one wanted to get hit under the belt. Lord Bobsworth is too damn smart for me. And, ugh, ugh. Better than me in drawing, and now he's better than me in Pokemon. But no, uh. Um, no, no, we were fair, fair, fair. Uh, I tried to do the Drain Punch. This is. His, um. Uh, Venomoth right here is basically his version of my Politoed. I'm just gonna say that straight up. He got the Toxic, which was a pretty good choice. Uh, I do the Flamethrower, the Forest, the Noxic, it's gonna take that. Not very well. And finally, Shuriken. You what? What's that? You're gonna hit me with a Hydro Pump? Assault Vested, my friend, with Shadow Balls. Shadow, uh, more shadow than the balls in a porno. In dim lights. I don't know why you would watch porno in dim lights. Actually, if you go on the Spanish channel back then, I think it was like channel 30 something, th th 34. Well, from where I'm from, Channel 34, it's like the Spanish channel for soap operas. At, at, at night, it was just like softcore porn that tried to be a TV show. <laughs> like, there'll be segments in between, but the storyline, oh yeah, Chandelure just like infiltrated his sub, by the way. Sorry, I had to talk about porn for a moment. Sharpedo comes in, gets that crunch on his hitbo chan, and it's just, just, just good. Just good times with close combat killing my shark. You know that time when you punch and kick a freaking shark and he dies, collapses? Now, let's see if he can do the same to a giant shark. Nah, he's just... He probably pissed in his skirt and ran away. Uh, but other things, other things to talk about today. <clears throat> I am going to be trying to do some more stuff for my uh, original channel, uh, Brass Shark Productions. If you guys don't know, go sub over there. Just look at my uh, freaking color, uh, colorblind person video. It's, it's pretty good. I hit him with an iron head. That was pretty pretty good damage right there. And Ludicolo, the star of the show, is taking dazzling gleams and hitting back with nothing at all because he just entered. And I think I'm gonna fake out? Yeah. Fake out. That's how it goes when the party starts in this fiesta, um, Ice Beam, I thought it was gonna kill, Whack-a-more, whack, whack more nah, jeez, Toxic Beam, um, uh, but, uh, no, 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 uh, I'm gonna be trying to do a little more of these sometimes, uh, when I get, get the chance to win a friend zone, um, but, in general, I just wanna say, Cody, Lord Bottomsworth, you are straight up homie. Thank you for all these battles. Thank you for even though you were over there doing your college and shit, you still give the time to give your old friend Ricky here a battle in Pokemon. I died, don't mind helping you out, keeping you on your toes and battling. 
man. Just thank you. You're a straight up inspiration to all uh, artists. Not all artists. Not all. To me, you do. And your, from what I remember back then, your art till now, you advanced amazingly. It's just your change was. It's like how would Keshi say? Um, fucking fantastic. Die. <laughs> She would drink to that. That's it. Big Buff Ben grunts to this. He nods in approval. And just thank you, broski. You're a real homie. Amigo. Gracias. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm not closing the video now. I just wanted to just... I had to have the bro moment in this. I'm still figuring out how uh, bro downs are going to go down. And... Uh, it's pretty good. I got. I'm trying to find bro music for the background. Uh, right now we got. I I think some royalty free guy who died a while ago who has public domain music. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to do some uh, Smash Brothers videos, something like that. More Pac-Man. Hopefully, I'm getting the wires for it soon from Action Raccoon. And. Uh, Oh, yeah, I am a part of the Poke Squad, so if anyone watches this who isn't a part of the Poke Squad, go check out the other Poke Squad members, and I'm going to put their links all here, like Catching Z's and Sparky CJ and Gangsta Chew. Thank you for watching, uh, everybody, and this is about to end with a beautiful, um, uh, uh, Maleficent destroying my slow bro, L Lord Bottomsworth. You grew exponentially. Thank you, guys. Watch the links. Follow them. See ya.